So could you say that emotions are actually hereditary um, in the sense that, for example, my mother and my sister have both been raped? Yep. And so does that mean that it was from, it was even possibly my grandmother and further up those times Definitely. until the generation chooses to deal with that, then that... That's right. Seven. So if your sister dealt with the rape emotionally completely, her child, if she had a girl child, would not be raped. Mm -hmm. right? Now I'm not saying that, the, that it's to do, there's lots of faults here. What happens is the emotional damage that rape causes to the woman is very, like, it's obviously very damaging. Even, but it's not quite as damaging as the emotional damage caused by abuse, sexual abuse as a child, obviously. Mm -hmm. But that's the most damaged sexual-based crime that you can commit to anyone. And usually, people who have been raped have also had some kind of childhood sexual abuse in many cases. So what happens is if the parent doesn't clear away that emotion and the child incarnates into their, like, into their womb, in the case of a mother, then if the child is a girl child, they're going to, they're going to accept all of the feminine things or the feminine-based injuries that mother's going to have. Agreed? Mm -hmm. And so then it becomes like a subsequent generational thing. There's a message in the Paget Messages where Luke talks about um, passing down sin from generation to generation, multi-generational sin. It's worth reading because it's about that. It's about the emotions that are being passed down to, from generation to generation. And even beliefs get passed down in the same manner. They're all emotions. They get passed down in a similar manner. Yep. So every single emotion you had in yourself when you were... Like when you became pregnant, for all of you ladies that have been pregnant, automatically got passed in to your children at that moment. And that's why they work up crying. <laughs> because you need to cry, actually. <laughs> they're just reflecting your emotions, you see. The, the beauty of a child is they're a pure reflection of your emotions that you are not letting yourself feel. So, when, do that, when does that child who's got that those emotions from the mother, when, when does that child clear the mother's emotions? Um, it, it may not ever do it until it passes into the spirit world and even then for many hundreds of years. It just depends on it exercising its will to actually... Which is that that's feeling the emotions? To experience the emotion. To, feel it, to actually feel it and release, yeah. 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 Is it easy to process emotions in the spirit world? Um, some, some parts of it are easier and some parts of it are harder. And perhaps if I can illustrate. Um, it's easier in the spirit world with emotions sometimes because you can see the emotion flowing out of you when you're experiencing it. So like if you have anger coming out of you, you'll see it like barbs coming out of you. And there'll be colour, a colour coming out of you as well. And it will be noxious to everyone around you. So you'll see it. You'll see it actually occurring if you're like able to feed... To, if you want to see it, you will see it. So that sometimes makes it easier, yes, to say to myself, well, yes, I do have anger, or yes, I do have grief, or yes, I do. And it makes it easier for me to recognise my emotion. But on the other hand, it can be quite hard, too. You think about it. If there is no law preventing you from doing anything in disharmony with love, I will shorten that to anything wrong from God's perspective. Right? And if there's no law, then what are you going to do if you feel like doing it? <coughs> You're just going to do it, aren't you? So let's say you were a man on earth, and you never raped a woman ever on earth. Right? But you had a feeling quite often inside of you that you wanted to. Right? When you pass, what's going to happen? That emotion is going to be pretty strong inside of you and you'll realise that there's no law preventing you from trying to do that. And what are you going to do? You're going to come to earth and perv on every naked woman. You're going to do... Aren't you? You think about it. If that's what you want to do in your heart, you would do it, wouldn't you? Now, it's very hard then to stop yourself from doing it and deal with the underlying emotional reason why you do it. Do you follow me? Uh, that created a lot of fear in a lot of you, this, that statement. <laughs> why is that? Why do you feel fear? How many of you ladies hate feeling like you're being sexually objectified? Absolutely. <laughs> right? yeah. 
that's an emotion you will need to deal with. Because that's an emotion too. That will attract these kind of people around you who will sexually objectify you until you feel that emotion. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The law of attraction, if you have a feeling inside of yourself that you hate being sexually objectified, you will attract men who sexually objectify you. In order for you to experience what's underneath that emotion. And we'll talk more about the law of attraction in a minute. And um, whether when you say God wouldn't allow that to happen, God allows every single person to have free will. So a person can attempt to sexually objectify you. Of course, if it has no effect on you, then will will it matter to you? It won't, will it? I'm talking about spirit form. I am talking about either form. Yeah. I'm talking about either form. So, so if you're at one with God as a spirit, would you even have a feeling that you want to you know, project sexual energy at somebody who doesn't want it from you? You wouldn't, would you? But if you are not at one with God, you may have that desire. But if you're at one with God here on earth, wouldn't you care if they tried to do it? It would just bounce right back off you, wouldn't it? It wouldn't have any effect on you. It wouldn't affect you emotionally. And you wouldn't attract it. And, in the majority of cases, you wouldn't even attract it. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. We'll talk more about the law of attraction as we go on. Yeah.